Hello my friends, it's DIY by Dar. I had a lot of driftwood pieces from Lake Michigan that I wanted to make into some jewelry and some small pebble rocks from Lakeshore, Michigan as well. And I went ahead and found some nice little pebbles and stones that fit right on this piece of wood and it's ready to go and glue down. The prep that I did on this wood was just a little bit of light sanding so you wouldn't um, have anything that would be kind of irregular or sharp that it might poke somebody's skin. And then I went ahead and I also added Minwax High Performance Wood Hardener. And all you have to do is you just put that on the piece of wood that you're trying to preserve or make stronger, um, which I did. It seems to have worked pretty good. So my next move is going to be I'm going to try to figure out how I want to adhere these little pieces to this piece of wood. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the Lisa Pavelka um, resin to get them set in place at least and I'll just put them under my UV light here and uh, let them get hard so let's get out the resin and let's start putting them in place Okay, I let this sit overnight and all the uh, stones and glass are in there good. Now I'm going to need to make a hole in the top and I'm going to be lazy. I'm not going to change my drill bit, um, but that's okay. This, this bit is a um, bit used for cutting through rocks and glass, so it should go through this wood pretty easy. Now, I'm probably going to want to try to put that hole. I'm going to start it I think right there. That way um, there won't be any chipping, I hope, um, around it. it. Won't open up and start chipping. So I'm gonna pull a little bit closer here and I just have this bit on my Dremel tool which is on a stand in one of my workshops. So, let's see how far this is gonna go down. See, I got this set, so this should go down all the way through it. And we'll be good there. So let's start. I've cut a uh, um, 30 inch piece of that waxed cord, cotton cord, and I am going to do a special knot on the end of it. And this board that I'm using is called the Knotty Do It All, and it is by Sandra Younger, and it is a really nice board. Um, you can probably make one if you had a very talented husband and then just punch some holes in there. But I purchased this one. I believe it was under $100. It came as a whole kit. So you want to take your cord and you want to take your piece and you're going to put it face down. So put the cord through and you want to offset that cord a little bit on the top because you're going to be doing some knot wrapping and you probably want it about two inches longer. So you've got it facing down. Let's clip it. Then the bottom one you want to clip as well. 
And then just check it again and make sure that the one that you're going to wrap is your long cord. And this is just a plastic knitter's needle. You can get them in most um, sewing sections. And I'm going to lay this knitter's needle right on top. I'm going to take my cord. I'm going to wrap it around once, twice. I'm going to go three times. It's going to be kind of a big knot. Then you're going to go for, I probably didn't even need to use this. I could probably just put it through just the way it is, but um, it did help me keep my areas all lined up. And I'm just going to feed it through. Got a Kind of tricky. Got to hang on to all of them and not let go. And feed your other end through them. Still hanging on. Pull it through. Now let it loose to support that. I did find just some plain copper toggle ends that I am going to put on here and I'm going to put on them a special way so I can use this cord. Now the length, since this has such a long drop, um, I'm, I'm just going to make this cord like 17 inches long. So it's just going to have to be one of those stationary cords. So if I want to go to 17 gonna have to kind of split this in half so eight and a half eight and a half right there I fold that over right there Eight and a half. So with that being folded over, I'm gonna bring both my clips over. And I'm gonna clip them both. Now this is just some synthetic cord. I probably got it from Fire Mountain Gems. How you can always tell uh, what kind of cord. I like synthetic cord because you can always make little ends on it um, like little plastic buttons. So if you forget what you got, like this one is, this end here is cotton and when you take a lighter to it, it's gonna do nothing but burn. If you got a synthetic you're gonna you're gonna see that little end turn to plastic. You can feel it; it's plastic. This just burns, and you can smell it. It's cotton, and this is gonna turn to plastic for you. So I want something more sturdy and more plastic to hang on to that. So I'm gonna do a special knot on there, and I'm gonna make sure I cut myself enough cord here, and I'm gonna need that little again for this one because this is smaller in my hands and my eyes are not the best anymore so uh, I'm gonna use that one let's just make sure I got these going the right direction because as you're putting it through you're gonna want to hang on to this end to put it through this end if you're right-handed so we're gonna make a little knot on here and you're just gonna take and trick is hang on to it when you're Twisting it around. Probably don't let go four times around. Okay. Try to hold that. That's the trick. Now you, you you're gonna take and put this through the three. 
and then it doesn't matter what what way you go but put that through that needle oh, I got that needle jammed in there pull that through straighten it out a bit you got that through one and now you want to go this way with with this other end so put it back through doesn't really matter what way you go although I am going to go down underneath it one more time to hold at least my three okay and then you got it that way now before you pull that tight let it loose and pull the whole thing down towards the bottom then pull these in opposite directions and tight if you want to really get it tight a lot of times I'll take two pairs of pliers you know wrap wrap it around Take a couple pairs of pliers, grab each end, just pull in the opposite direction. Now that you got it nice and tight, we can do some trimming and some burning. So this big long end here, um, we're, we're going to try to just trim that as close as we can down to the bottom. feel you want to put a piece or a dab of glue on there go for it I usually don't now this is my burnable ends so I'm gonna take my lighter let that ball down wait for it wait for it tamp it down because you don't want to touch it too much when it's burning if you want to get rid of some of them little other hairs there just torch them now the other side, pull it tight, cut it off. You can even fluff it up a little bit. Let it burn down. Wait for it. Tamp it down. Don't want to touch on there too quick because you don't want to burn your finger. Now that is not going to go anywhere and you got that toggle end. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the other side. And at this point, just go ahead and try to uh, match them up as best you can for their length. Match them up, pull it straight. So that's pretty good there. And all I'm gonna do is the same thing on this end. 